Hey everybody, it's Queen Jelly and welcome to or welcome back to the Toy Box. Today we're going to be opening Claude Wolf, which is one of our core collection here. Um, on the front we have our dark dark art of Claude Wolf um, and of course you can see our doll. Now I'm quite curious because his head's almost touching the top and then he has his knee pose. I'm wondering how tall he's going to be. Um, if they posed him like that just because he was so tall or if that's just how they decided they wanted to pose him but it almost is like they had to do that in order to fit him in the box but we'll see um uh and then like i said you can see all of his accessories we have roxine as his pet um on the side we have this the like little symbols that represent the different things um that represent claude and then on the back we have the art of claude as well as the art of all the uh, core ghouls sitting over here on the stairs, um, which for some reason was oddly absent from Abby's design. Um, maybe it's just because they, they like made Abby so much bigger, um, but they still could have fit it in there. So I'm not sure why, but on the back of the Abby box, I know right now it's cut off so you can't see it anymore, but you can kind of see right here that those were the, the steps that are kind of over here. So like this was more like there. Yeah, it was there on the box instead of that artwork that's typically there. So I'm not sure what the deal was with that, but there it is. Um, anyway, so their monster type is a positive human, or sorry, positive werewolf slash human, because they are Claudine's brother um, and not half brother, full brother. Um, monster Muffs has Ahi Coffin and Granola. And their monster pet is Roxini, right? Rox, Rox, Roxina, Roxina. I'm guessing. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me. I'm not sure. Roxina. Now I know she's. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be like a little, like gargoyle, which is why it's rock, but. Roxina instead of like I don't know it's it sounds right and wrong at the same time I, I don't know uh, <laughs> anyway the g3 dolls have been pretty easy to open you just pull these off the side um oh there's a little bit of tape down here that's not normally there did I put my scissors away I put my scissors away even though I knew I was opening another doll um so I did get mine off of Amazon. Um, I just waited until um, they, I just watched like every day and happened to catch it one of the times when it was available for the uh, sale or like the regular price. Um, I refused to pay um, anything over the, the standard price. So you just have to kind of keep an eye on it. I know that they've still been going in and out really quickly. I don't know how hard it's been to find Claude, but I do know it's been pretty hard to find Abby. Um, so just have patience with it. Um, I'm sure that they will... Oh, I don't know. what What is that? Well, it's a good thing I'm getting rid of this box, but I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands. But anyway, there's his barcode, I guess. Um, even though it's covered in some sort of green sludge. Um, gross. Okay, I'm gonna go get this off my hand and get him out of this box so I can get rid of it. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I don't know, I'm sorry about that. I also no, really don't know what that was because it looked like green frosting, but like I haven't had green cupcakes or anything like that, so I don't know where that would have come from. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, I do like to take these little claw, uh, little... Uh, standees out and keep those um right now I don't really have a place to display them but once I have a more like permanent display area for these I want to like set those up like in front of them as like name placards and then kind of like keep the all of them of that character like behind those name placards but anyway I digress uh right now he's borrowing one of my just basic Amazon stands he does fit on there um you have to put it on under the jacket though because the jacket just makes him just a little bit too thick but um he is one of the boy dolls so he does have ankle articulation uh but otherwise seems to have the same there's the knee articulation uh he does not have a bust joint though 
uh, and then elbow and wrist. Although, uh, typically the doll's hands will come off. Um, I'm sure that it does, but I was having a really hard time trying to get his hand off in order to get this plastic ring off. Um, so I'm just going to have to finish cutting it in a bit, but I was having a really struggle. Um, and I wasn't able to get his hand off. So I don't know. Um, I'll try again in a minute to try and put his shirt on. Uh, but yeah, there he is. He can stand on the stand. Uh, he comes with an extra shirt. It says Claude and then it's zero one. This is his casket ball shirt, obviously. Um, unfortunately I haven't really been able to watch the show cause it's not really somewhere that's available for me to watch other than the clips that they post on YouTube. Um, so I'm not sure if casket ball is co-ed or separate, but, um, Either way, he's also on the team, um, like his sister is. Uh, he has this pair of sunglasses that have some, like, goo details on the lenses, but also some, like, fang details. And then the side's kind of like this, like, jagged cut. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be anything specific. Almost looks like... I don't know. It's weird. Uh, he has this little protein bar let's see if we can see what it says oh this is his granola protein bar and then he has a water bottle it's actually quite large um the lid does come off it's a it has the monster high logo on it on both sides and it's this really pretty purple color um and then has like a sippy lid and then he has some jock jerky, uh, wolf jerky, real track jock jerky, wolf jerky. I can't, I can't see what that red word says. Um, focus on this, please. We all know how my camera likes to not focus on anything so if anyone could tell me what that red word is that would be great all right and then we have their eye coffin it's of course their individualized apps you can see some fangs and then the ear sticking up over the top and in the back it's fuzzy like a wolf with little wolf tail super cute um and then roxine our little gargoyle dog a little cute little tail, a little speckling, and they have really pretty pink eyes and a beautiful pink collar, and of course a little fang underbite. Super cute. All right. No, come back, eye coffin. All right. And then we have Claude here. So from the top, they have really curly hair, which is super cute. Um, it is all up on the top with shaved sides um not flocked perfectly fine with me um they do have ears hiding and all that hair this ear is double pierced and then they have golden yellow eyes under thick brows a little cut in them uh, and the wolf nose of course and then some dark brown lips with some fangs hanging from the top. They also have a little bit of tufts here along the side. Not as prominent as Claudine's, but he also doesn't wear glasses, so they don't need to be as prominent. And then their jacket. It is a black jacket with a moon on it, a crescent moon. Uh, faux pockets printed on, that's fine. Uh, kind of a pleather sleeves that have these like claw marks on them along with some moons on the back. It is blank and he has on a tank top with a werewolf clawing at the moon as well as some jeans. Uh, these are a faux jean or faux denim I should say with claw marks all over it and then ragged cut edges and some purple uh, converse, that's the word with white soles, a little bit of uh, like a fur tuft sticking out at the top of the toes, and some claw mark and uh, like animal print powder on the bottom along with some little moons hiding in it. And then his bag is a gym bag. So we have this black duffel with a paw print 
charm hanging off of it. And it does have like a fur detailing to it. Very cute. Um, and it does, of course, open up. But it is just a barrel bag. So there we go. Awesome. I'm going to see if I can get him switched into his sport shirt. And I will be right back. All right. So here he is wearing his other tank top. A uh, couple things. One, I didn't think I was going to leave him in this because, like, um, I don't typically leave them in their secondary outfits. But this just looks really nice on him. Like, it fits really well. Um, I would just have liked to seen some gym shorts to go with it so that it could actually, you know, play. Um, as opposed to just, you know, dressing in his jersey. Um, I do also like that he has a nice muscle tone because he is supposed to be athletic. So he should have a nice muscle tone. Um but also his hands, I thought were going to break. Like they were so, so hard to get off. Um, but they do have little claw nails because he is a werewolf. So super cute. But yeah, they were really, really hard to get off. But what do you think? Do you like this one better? Or this one better? So, I mean, and this one feels tight right now because of it, him wearing it over the, the purple. But I feel like the, the black fits a little bit looser on his body, which is, I think, why the purple looks nicer. It also stands out more on him. Because, like, he's already kind of very dark. He has dark hair, you know, and everything else. So I kind of really like how the purple looks on him. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below which way you would dress your Claude or which way you're going to dress your Claude. Um, but I think I, that is all that I have for Claude Wolf today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed recording it. And we will see you also very, very soon in the next one. Bye.